and we're on. Hi, welcome to Friday's Channeling Odyssey of Ascension. I'm Roxanne Swainer, and I will be channeling for you and all the guests here tonight. And all the guests here tonight. <laughs> There's a lot. I wonder why I'm getting my feet set. Hmm. <laughs> we'll see. Any of you been to a channel? Have not been to a channel. <laughs> <laughs> and good evening to the collective. This is Osiphius from the Oversoul Collective Fire. Lots of good energy in here tonight. We are going to have a dancing medley, a grand old time, if you will. We would always, let's say, love. If you would open up your minds, put your judgments on the back burner, so to speak, and just be now, be open, be free. For it is only a moment of experience for remembrance, and I'm sure it's a lot better than tonight's TV show, or dulling your mind on Facebook for a few minutes. Whatever it may be, this has got to be better just to see a whacked out person have a little fun. Enjoy. And good evening. Good evening. Hi. Wonderful. We're going to have a mix tonight, a good blend, if you will, of different entities that have, let's say, co-contracted in that idea for this moment of experience. There will be several of your higher selves that will be, let's say, channeled through the conduit you see before you. One being me, that I may have a familiarity, but truly am a different vibration of Osiphius. Do you remember a wink? Hmm? My name is Hugh. Oh, yeah. My name is Hugh. I am what you would call a speaker. There is another speaker. Her name is Jane. There is another speaker, speaker one, that present. We are all what you call speakers. Our job, our choice, our highest joy over the past, let's say, give or take, with all the timelines uncollapsed, that is, 16.3 billion years have been very focused on humanity. We have been giving you our impartations, our indoctrines, our, let's call them, mystic schools, mystery schools, if you will, from your Egyptian times is the latest relevance to the equation, what I'm speaking of. The initiates go through and learn the li different levels, rather, of what you understand as ascension. This is ascension. You are on the ascension timeline. All of you have chosen, remember or not, consciously or not, it doesn't matter. The truth of the matter is, only if you choose it, is that you have chosen to be in this timeline to understand you are ascending the civilization the species of humanity. The game in play to refresh your nows in memory is complete dark to complete illumination. When you first started out, you started out as children. Children in the playground of a new solar system. That solar system, now you would understand galaxy and you are in the Akashica universe. So that's enough reference for you, let's say, visually to understand where you started playing in your own individual sandbox when you were born in that idea of creating humanity, not in forgetfulness. Oh no, certainly not, because you were gods. Gods don't come in and forget right away. 
because we didn't think of it at the time. But as time went on and humanity got more and more epic and more and more species, Mikado, the facilitator of the game, brought forth an idea to have humanity upon birth through the canal, is the only way you can forget, to be what? Total darkness. An epic game. Unfathomable. People said no. People in reference to God for you. People said no. There's no way we can wake up. Even in our Godhood, we even used the word no way. For our love and compassion would only see you in the endless spiral of your own demise. But there were several of you here right now, out there in TV land, that said, oh, this is exciting. This is the game of all games. This will be rewritten in all the nows as the history to a study for ascension ideas amongst all the other 3D to 4D, 2D to 3D, 1D to 2D entities choosing existence in that fashion to understand epic ascension. Fourth and up, a little bit easier in that fashion. But this one, epic. Oh, by all means. And you all chose. Each and every one of you chose. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah. Pardon Roxanne. Chose. Before incarnating. A very long time ago. To be this now. The only time of existence. Right now. There is nothing else. There is no memory unless you choose memory. There is no future unless you choose future. Focus, energy, intention creates reality. That is the law. Steadfast holy to this entities and understand the power, the gods, the creators that you all are. In equality, there is no separation. There is only the one. And all of you are individual expressions of the mind, if you will, of God. Chose to be forgetful. Chose to understand the capabilities of creativity in polarity, in suffering, atrocity, demise, Sin chose to explore and express creativity, love, unconditional love. Each and every one of you chose this. There is no denying. Everyone knows you exist, including you. You chose it. You're here. Get over it. Mm. So the idea now, the ascension idea, after playing the game for eons upon eons with billions upon billions of intertwined timelines recreating Gaia for all the purposes of understanding, destroying the earth over and over again, and stro the <clears throat> pardon me, stand by destroying humanity over and over and over again, leaving you one thread out to continue the timeline, the civilization, the species. And now the reverence is showing. The epic idea is now flowering. You have birthed the ascension through yourselves do your self-love. The love of the mirror. You. Your self-love. Not your obligation. Not, I need to do this so I can get back karma bullshit. Your unconditional love for the self of existence that you are only creates the love around. 
spiraling it deeper, wider, with more vibration to have those come upon you and understand that you are the healing. You are the atonement. You are unconditional love. You are the creator. Only with each other have you, humanity, the collective, have reached the point of no other timeline is truly needed. The other timelines will play out and they will end because there is no other entity creating that reality as of that now. The ascension timeline is solid. All of you, all of you, all of you have already experienced the ascension. You're playing it out right now. You found yourselves only with each other. Is there anything greater than that? Tell me truly, entities. Your self-love through each other have ascended an entire species from total forgetfulness, total darkness, to illumination. We would like to say we are very proud to know you. It is an honor to be amongst your presence. I shall return you to Osiphius. This is Hugh. And Wink, call me. And thank you, Hugh. Hugh, once again, is a speaker. A speaker is a let's say, in your terms, a position of great honor. For they have researched for eons and eons before they even come to interact with humanity, to understand the complexities. So their offering is not in vain, is offered and felt in its only trueness, unconditional love. There are many speakers among you now offering their idea. All you have to do is let it. There is no effort in ascension. There is no trying. There is no continuing any kind of need, <clears throat> fear, lack, nothing. All of you can change your reality in a moment's notice. And aware, be aware of this the remote is in your hand. It always has been. Change the channel. Simplicity. Gods are simple. Easy. Loving. Gracious. These are your natural states. They require no effort. If you think you need to be those things, then you are putting effort into it. Because that word, need, is lack. And if you need to do something, you are perceiving there will be something in return to give you your continued security of the illusion. When that is no longer needed, you are manifestors of the now. You can have anything you want because now you understand your relationship between that and your environment. That it is an illusion for experience of joy Again, the dark is played. The light is everywhere. The tsunami of love is a rush that cannot be denied. So as you are in your nows to perpetuating ideas of self-love, you will see and understand the Christ conscience, the God, the being all that is that you truly are. And when you walk in your divine nonchalance, not arrogance, your divine nonchalance of eternal love, and be fathomable of the idea of time to let go of. When you walk, you will only see love. 
You will only see your reality responding to you in kind. For the reality is neutral once again. It can only obey in that fashion your thoughts, your beliefs, your intention of love. And you will receive that. Time, Rita. We're at 15 minutes. Wonderful. Stand by. There is a short break in, let's say, need at this moment. We shall take a break and we will discuss our next impartation for there are lots of nows to experience between that now and this now to understand the best idea for ascension. We will see you in a few nows. I bid you a good moment, Adonai. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Good? We'll, we'll take a break. I, yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we'll see you in a few. Love you.